There are three types of contaminants that can be associated, or three types of environmental problem that can be associated with combined sewer overflows. Uh, you can have the simple organic matter that's coming out, the, the crap, uh, as well as the stuff that comes off the streets. Uh, when it decomposes in the water, it, it, uh, it takes away oxygen from the water. So you get a low dissolved oxygen condition, which means the critters can't live very well. That's one problem. Uh, the second problem is you can get pathogens. Crap, it's got stuff in it, right? Uh, so you can have pathogens, bacteria, viruses, and things of that sort that are simply bad for people and bad for other animals. So dissolved oxygen, which comes from too much organic matter, pathogens, and toxic chemicals. There shouldn't be any appreciable amount of toxic chemicals coming out of these combined sewer overflows or any of the storm sewers. Historically, 30, 40, 50, 50 more years ago, that's exactly what happened. When you had a manufacturing facility that generated some hazardous chemicals, they typically put it into the sewer and went out into the water that way and often screwed up the sewage treatment plants. So there's a whole set of laws that prevent, that, that are supposed to prevent that from happening. Uh, we will be looking at each of these, we are looking at, have looked at each of these to find out whether there is any toxic contribution still coming out of the sewer overflows. The organic matter that causes low dissolved oxygen and the pathogens are primarily the focus of the work that the city of New York is doing and that is being overseen by the state of New York. We're not directly concerned with that. I mean, we are indirectly very concerned with it, but not directly. It's not our primary responsibility to see to it that that gets fixed. It's our very, very clear concern if there's any toxic chemicals coming out of any of those pipes.